Hi everyone. This video will guide you for your assessment one. So I would like to go through our Moodle website and this will show you that how to get your instructions and submission links for your assessment one as well. So this is what that we have on our Moodle site. So following the Moodle site, you will see the assessment tab where you will have all the information regarding your assessment one, two, and three. So following this tab, I'm, I'm going through this assessment one links, but before that, just for your information that assessment links are also indicating your deadlines. So this video will guide you for assessment one only, but other links will be for assessment two and assessment three. So first thing will be looking at the guideline and given instructions through this page. So assessment one comes with your 25% overall mark. So it is weighted as 25%. And this is a presentation assignment where you have to uh, present an assignment on the basis of some given instructions. So I would like to go through these instructions uh, very quickly to give you a quick briefing about the preparations. Um, so this assignment will take place over week four to week 12. So as you have received some information in your tutorials by the time that which tutorial or week that you are targeting for your assessment presentation. So according to that, it has its weekly topic and according to your selected weekly topic, you will be presenting your assignments. So the purpose of this assignment is to understand and know how to search academic journals and literature. So I assume that you understand the concept of academic literature, but what do we mean by that? And I assume that you understand that how and where to collect those assigned, I mean, journal articles. And according to that, we consider the purpose of this assignment will be enhance and develop your oral communication and presentation skills. So one part of that assignment is asking you for searching an academic journal as well as another part of that assignment will be how to present that assignment in front of your audience which will be your tutorial mates and to explain the uh, particular selected article um, to them to understand that how things are coming from the research side in our weekly topic so the weekly topic that you can pick up will be according to this list and this list is actually similar to our lecture uh, topic as well. So the intention of this assignment is to select academic journal and to link it with our lecture topic and to understand that how things are taking place uh, in the research world and what is um, similar to our lecture topic and how things can be learned uh, by those research studies as well. So for the on-campus students, they will have the in-class or in-tutorial presentation. But for the distance students, I would like to say they don't have um, that option to come and present their presentation. So that's why for the distance students, I would like to say that please um, note it down that you have to record your presentation within your PowerPoint slides. And before you select your week, please drop a mail to me that which week that you are planning to um, prepare your assignments. And on the basis of that, I will, I will try to give you a feedback as well as this video recording will gu guide you to have the preparation that how to prepare those lecture slides with your voiceover. So in PowerPoint slides, you have the recording option where you have to um, record your voice over the PowerPoint slides and you have to submit as well as uh, need to send me the same recorded PowerPoint slides over the mail to me. So please um, um, drop a mail that which week that you like to have your presentations. You have the options from week four to 12 and according to that um, choice, I'll be waiting for your mail to receive your PowerPoint 
uh, recorded PowerPoint slides. For the on-campus students, they are supposed to have their presentation in tutorials, and um, this is what that we are settling down this week, as well as by week uh, three to start our presentations from week four to week 12. Now, the reason that we are considering um, a particular article is, um, or searching a particular literature or academic literature, is to ensure that you know how to search good journal articles. Now, while I'm saying good, there must be some standards to measure that good or uh, better journals. So a quick advice could be, um, if, you, if you download an ABDC journal ranking files, if you just put uh, and Google ABDC journal ranking, you will find several files and you can see how in, uh, Australian, I will show it over here very quickly to understand that what I'm talking about. I'm just writing A, B, D, C um, journal ranking list or Excel. So this is something uh, that will give you the website for Australian Business Teams Council and they have um, the ranking list and according to that we can understand that what are those good journals that we can see and look into. So the, just download any folder from here and see how those journals are ranked there. So you will find A star, A, B, C uh, journals and whatever that you work for your assignments should be looked into the journal article, I mean the journal list, that whether that is listed or not. So we will prefer A star journals. So that will be our preference, but uh, it's up to you that how you would like to collect the particular uh, source of journals. So this is where uh, we would like to see that while you're going through uh, the CQU library or database, library database to search your journal articles. And what I am expecting that, well, the journal articles should be a latest one and that should not be more than five years old. So try to search according to the time frame as well, that whatever you search should be uh, published within last five years. So it's up to you that which week that you want to select and according to that selected week, search your article. Say for example, if you, if you like to have a presentation on week eight, um, and then perhaps you should search something related to management or performance or performance management HRM. Not necessarily that you have to search it with the given names here, but you can go to the chapter to see and understand that what are those things that is uh, related to performance management. And on the basis of that, uh, through the library search engine, you can get your um, selected article. Now, while you will be selecting your articles, as mentioned, please check it out that whether your article is a good article for us or not. As long as it is listed, it has ABDC rank, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be happy to um, uh, accept that uh, article for your assessment one. Um, yeah, so now having a look for your design and presentation, I would like to take you to that Moodle side and I kept a PowerPoint template this template will guide you about the preparation of your assessment well, uh, as well. So first of all, I would like to say before I show you the PowerPoint slides, the duration of your presentation will be around 10 to 15 minutes, where uh, approximately we consider half of the time for your presentation and half of the time for your question and session. So um, we are not able to consider the time more than 15 minutes because of our student numbers and um, the tutorial time that we have. So on an average, we can accommodate with um, three to four presentations, maximum five if it is possible per week for your presentation. So say for example, uh, every or each week over there will uh, go through those, uh, go with those presenters, they will present on a particular topic. So by that time, I believe that your present tutor will ask you about your choice and they will set you up over this week and according to this calendar to have your presentations. Now, while you will be preparing your assignment presentations, um, this, um, um, this PowerPoint slide 
will guide you about the content of your PowerPoint slides. So say, for example, when you are uh, preparing, reading, and um, uh, deciding your power, um, journal articles, the next thing will be understand that article and set it according to the guideline that you have over here. So this is the PowerPoint template that I'm using, but not necessarily that you have to have the same one. Rather, you can design it, you can work it with your own uh, preparations or um, choices. But you need to follow the instructions of the title or heading of the PowerPoint slide. Say, for example, this is the cover page that you will indicate your week and weekly topic, your individual ID and detail that where uh, you are having the presentation. Then I kept seven PowerPoint slides, and I assume, I assume that well, you will be spending one minute per slide to talk about the content of this um, individual slide. So you have to sort out, you have to represent the paper that you will select on that topic on each of those slides. Say, for example, what is the article title and what is the full reference? So we'll be following APA reference. And you, this slide will represent the title and uh, will consider the uh, reference for the particular article. The second one will be um, at an objective. Objective means objective or purpose or aim of the research that what that particular research is um, trying to do or had their aim to do in the particular paper. So the second one is about the objective purpose or aim of the paper. The third one should be the method. The methodology part um, is, um, is the part where the researchers perhaps talking about the way they collected their data, the way they analyzed the data, and the way they uh, came to their conclusions. So not necessarily that you have to understand everything of it, but need a summary that how did they organize their uh, research initiatives that should come uh, through this method part. This, the next part will be the findings and very important part that what did you find? What is our takeaway from this paper? So that should be uh, given over here. And last, um, uh, uh, then yes, there should be a conclusion, obviously that what did you learn out of that overall preparation from that, uh, from that particular selected journal articles. And last one will be um, the slide that you will link our lecture topic, because as I mentioned that, each of this topic will be our weekly topic for lectures. So how your particular journal article is uh, linked to our weekly topic or is contributing us to learn further uh, uh, about our weekly topic. So that should be the last one. And at the end, I think you will add an, another slide for your references. So referencing is important and each of those things I mean, the given things should be referenced, uh, should have the reference accordingly because not necessarily that you are writing from one journal articles that does mean that well, that all the contents belong to one. So if necessary, um, if it is necessary that you are referring that particular journal articles, always use the journal article reference, as well as mention those other sources if you are getting information from other, uh, outside of the journal articles as well. So at the end, you should have a reference list to include all the in-text references over here with the list. So this is the title that you, um, you I mean, the um, template that you can use for your preparation, but you can design it with your own way. But make sure that you are not making more than eight slides over here because that will not allow you to describe uh, while it comes to your uh, presentation and uh, required time. So that's, um, that's about the time, that's about the preparation. And that is um, uh, mentioned over here that your PowerPoint slides um, should, be, should be organized in a way that you can, you can go with the flow that we can understand that what was that article about and how that article is contributing us uh, uh, to understand our weekly topic. Once again, for the distance students, as I mentioned, that well, you're supposed to drop a mail that which week that you're selecting, and according to that uh, week, uh, the week will be your deadline um, for your submissions. But your PowerPoint slides should have the voiceover that should come with the recordings and with your narrations, and I'll be listening to that 
want to give you the marks for your assessment one preparation. We are expecting that you are following APA referencing uh, style. And um, this is where I'll be really, um, really um, serious about your preparations like um, make sure that everything is well referenced and make sure that you are checking your similarity uh, before you um, uh, finally over, uh, come over the deadline of your assignments. Now, where, while you will be following the deadline, you will see that well, the deadline is actually open for week one, four to 12 because of, um, because of the uh, overall duration of assessment one. But your deadline uh, is only the deadline for that week means if you're presenting in week seven, means actually your deadline is week seven for us. So make sure that you are submitting before the time and you're checking the similarity index and um, uploading the assignment with an acceptable limit of your plagiarism uh, score or similarity score. Now a common question that what should be an acceptable limit? Uh, it depends, it doesn't mean that well high number or low number means um, uh, a lot of um, plagiarism or no plagiarism, it depends on the similarity and content of that similarity. But in general, anything over 20% will be our concern to look into your materials. So anything below 20% is, is okay because we understand that we are using a common format and um, the things may be similar while it comes to the expression of your PowerPoint slides. But still, uh, make sure that this is um, something uh, that you're well aware of and you know how to do it. And just in case you need more help, please talk to ALC, go there, ask them, and uh, get the guideline for referencing and just follow it. And it's not that difficult that you cannot do it um, by your own, just in case you need the link, this is the link if it is APA referencing, uh, if you're Googling it, uh, you will get the file and you will know how to um, put in text as well as um, prepare the, a reference list as well. So that will help you to uh, get out of this plagiarism issue from, um, from uh, this, uh, for this assignment. Now, last but not least, this, um, this piece of paper is very important for you to understand that where your marks, marks are waiting for you and how things will be um, considered when it comes to uh, your overall um, Great. So for this assignment, it is a 25% assignment, uh, and that 20% 25% uh, is actually distributed with this section. So your marker will be marking you according to this marking rubric. And if you are uh, thinking that where I can um, grab the maximum mark, so you can go through that and you can understand that well where you are uh, lacking your preparations and where you can get maximum marks for your presentations. Now, very quickly, 5% uh, marks for referencing, which, he, which I think is the easiest percentage to collect because if you have proper referencing, you'll get the full 5% marks. Aim and um, uh, research aim and question means the second slides that we had, like um, this one, the objective or aim of your research, then method, uh, then findings, article conclusions, and contribution to the topic according to the sequence that we had. And um, major marks is waiting for your preparation, uh, I mean, quality of your presentation as well. And visual aids is, um, is all about your PowerPoint slides that you are preparing for the presentations. Now, while it comes to visual aids, I would like to say, make sure that your PowerPoint slides are clean. Make sure that you have all the references and all time you should have a list of references and um, it should not be very wordy in terms of putting everything on your PowerPoint slides and it should be a clean and uh, uh, um, audience friendly PowerPoint because you will be giving them the briefing about those things that you will have in your PowerPoint slides. So not necessarily that you have to have everything on your PowerPoint slides. So this is how you will be um, you will be getting the instruction and marks for this assignment. Now, last thing will be um, uh, checking the submission link. So before you have go for your presentations, your uh, tutor will expect that you will be going through this link 
and upload your assignment over here. So when you will be uploading your assignments, your assignments will be uploaded according to that assignment, uh, I mean, assessment pre uh, assignment presentation and uploaded PowerPoint slides, you will be receiving your marks through that link. So that's how your assessment one will take its um, assignments from week four to week 12. Now, make sure that by next week, you know which particular week you are going to have your presentation. And just in case, if you are not sure, please talk to your tutors because they are well informed and they know how to get and receive your presentations. But one thing is important, if you're missing your particular week, that will be very difficult for us to adjust with our later weeks because we will be with a calendar where every week will come up with the, um, um, with the particular presenters and perhaps um, we cannot give you any other slot for presentation. So make sure that you are um, you are um, taking enough preparation for the selected week. Make sure that you are presenting your presentation on the due time and the due tutorial, and um, you are uploading the PowerPoint slides before the presentation for your presenters and for your markers as well. And for the question answer sessions, I'm I I must say that well, I understand that not all of you are very comfortable with presentations, but it's all about the learning that we need to go through because if you're comfortable with presenting some research materials if you're comfortable to go through those up question answer sessions means actually um, that will in uh, develop your presentation skills for the future purposes so take it as your uh, learning and opportunity that well you will get an audience and i hope that audience will be well connected and well engaged with your presentation and will ask you good questions too understand that how your things are linked with our uh, lecture materials. So that much I had in my mind for sharing the instructions uh, for assessment one. So next video will, uh, uh, will be there for your assessment two. And please talk to your tutor if you need further clarifications. So good luck and I'll get back to you with another video for other assessments. Thank you.